Meanwhile, several business operators are counting their losses following yesterday's flooding. Instead of opening their doors to receive customers, many of them spent today cleaning. TVJ's Janella Pursuis reports. It was clear Wednesday night that business operators in the Montego Bay city center would have had a challenging start to their day Thursday. For example, this is the Star Supermarket on William Street. The water was so high that it washed the groceries off shelves. In fact, very few businesses were spared, from the hotel sector to the banking sector to restaurants and even schools. Montego Bay was closed for business. The rain began some time after after 2 p.m. Wednesday, not long after we were told the flooding began, forcing some businesses to close earlier than usual. That's my staff over there, and we had to vacate the premises because the water reached up to here, up to here. Two, this, the, the office is under two feet of water, so they had no choice but to vacate the office. Um, we were inside the building. Mm -hmm. And we noticed that the water was coming inside, just a little bit of water. And then we started taking up stuff that we know would wet up. But by the time we started taking up, taking up the stuff that was going to wet, wet, the water coming more, till the water eventually reached us up here. So we had to leave everything inside the shop and go on the, the roof what kind of the building. Operate? We operate a snack shop and a just making shop. Vendors are also having a difficult time. Yum, pumpkin, tomato, sweet pepper, everything, fruits and vegetables. Every, we put them in move from what is road coming at the market. When we've run through life, the water come and take everything gone as seen. Stall, every stall gone as seen. Why we have got to start all over, start from scratch. Of course, start from scratch. Got the stall gone, the load gone, everything gone. Citizens who were also stranded for hours had tales of their own because bus and taxi operators were forced to withdraw their service because of the danger which arose as the flooding worsened. A God make we not dead around here. A God make we is alive if you can tell the story this morning. How, the, how dreadful the water come down from yesterday. May I tell you the Holy Almighty. All you see we all, we wash we all, all the damages. And the Almighty alone hold the rain and make the rain stop because if it never stops, all of the wash we're going to see there. So. It may take a while for some business owners to put a cost to the flood damage to their operations. For now, all they can do is pick up the pieces. Chanel Apresius, TVJ News.